But this is, you know, in one extreme part of it. The other part of it is we see it every day, all the time, that all of, all of nowhere, you have it all right, you know, and you don't have to be 60 years old. Let's say you're 35 years old or whatever, and you're beautiful, you're healthy, you eat organic, you're vegan, you are, do meditation, you do yoga, you wear your mala, you're... You pay your taxes. You're a good person. You help your community. You do all the all the right things, and all of out of nowhere, you're diagnosed with some kind of brain tumor. You're diagnosed with breast tumor or whatever it is, and three months after you die, or you go through a complete series of surgeries and medications and this and that or whatever. And what you thought was perfect, suddenly, in a very short period of time, is destroyed. So, this is happening all the time. It's nothing new. With this pandemic, and, and if you live in the U.S., with the riots and everything is happening, it's more in your face now. It's just kind of forces you to recognize this. And it's a situation that is trying to show you something. If you switch the way you look at things, okay? If you shift, if you take these glasses out and put these other glasses, and look at it like, what is this? It's really in my face. I can't escape it now. I'm forced to wear a mask wherever I go. I'm forced to deal with a lot of people that are in fear, worry, anxiety. I feel, I feel it, you know. I'm hearing sirens all the time. I'm, you know, people are dying. I get all these reports and da 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 da, da. The list keeps going on and on and on. I'm forced in isolation. I can't spend time with people I love or I don't can't go to a gathering, I can't go to a party, I can't go eat out again comfortably. There is always a story or some limitations. So why is it happening? Why is it in your face so strongly? What's the message in it? And the conventional way of thinking is that you want to correct it and you want it to go back to normal and whatever it is. I just want it to go back to normal. But that's not about it going back to normal. It's, again, your focus is on the other world. You're looking at the world outside of yourself and you want to fix this world outside of yourself so it, it fits your style and your idea of how things should be. And it's not going to work. It never worked before, but not in this exaggerated or in this way that it has come. It's not going to work. I don't care what you do. It's not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work is because it's trying to do something and tell you something. It's for your spiritual growth. It's a bad awakening to wake up. But what do we wake up to? If you've been on this spiritual path <clears throat> and for a while and You've been reading books, going to workshops, watching videos on YouTube from different teachers, or you, uh, you've been active in this. For years, you've been hearing that we're on a verge of an ascension to higher dimension. So let's say we're on the verge of the ascension to fifth dimension, to a fifth dimensional consciousness. Uh, humanity goes into this other level. It's on a leap to, to shift. So, but this leap, this shift of going to this other higher dimension 
it's not going to be according to what you like. It's not going to be like you're going to be able to keep doing what you were doing before and you're also in an awakened state. If you're supposed to wake up from a dream and you're supposed to awaken to a higher consciousness, that means you have to let go or you're forced to let go of a style or a way of thinking or being that you were doing into a new way of being. So any effort to hang on to what was before and trying to force that is futile because it's not going to work. You're already in this shift to go to the next level. Is this making any sense to you? Do, do you grasp this? That for those who are spiritually advanced enough or they're ready and they're shifting, they're moving into this other place, this world, this idea of world that we've been living in is going to be destroyed. It's going to crumble. It's going to be gone. So if you're trying to hang on to what it used to be, you're just going to suffer and it's going to destroy you and it's going to get you really involved with what is happening in it. What is going on in the world? You're going to be involved with it. You're going to be watching all these videos and all these different uh, contradicting news that comes out, whether it's on pirate radios or alternative um, Facebook messages and all these different things we get, whether it's the uh, um, whatever the stories we're hearing, whichever direction you're attracted to, whether you are attracted to the... Uh, mainstream uh, news that you're getting or you're attracted to the uh, alternative news. It doesn't matter. It's an involvement with a world which is about to disappear and you're trying to fix it and also you're trying to make sense out of it. You're trying to figure out where is your position because it's going to get more confusing, it's going to look more helpless, it's going to be more chaotic as we go forward. Those of you who were with me five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago at the academy, uh, back in the day, if we go back to my old academy videos, which they're all on YouTube, you would hear me saying this. I used to share this with you that this type of thing is going to come and it's going to happen. But I'm not talking about doom, doom and gloom. That's not where I'm referring to or striking fear at your heart. That's not what it's about. This is about awakening, to wake up, to wake up from the dream you were into, the dream we were dreaming 